So this camera right here is your opponent. This camera is the enemy. I need you to, all, everything that we're gonna say is all directed towards the enemy right here. Just kind of like look right into the fucking camera, intense. I want the most intense shit. We're gonna run this a few times, okay? God, it feels good. It feels good to be able to have a vision and an idea for something and be able to bring it to life like we did on this UFC promo. And before I break down the cinematography and how we shot this, I'm first gonna roll the final edit for you guys and show you the most intense, high energy, testosterone driven piece of sports content you've ever seen in your life. Take your headphones or your speakers, turn them up all the way to 100 and check this out. Let's roll the clip. This sport ain't for everybody. The second I got a taste of blood, I knew who I was. I ain't try to hide. I'm a killer. I'm in their heads. I'm in their dreams. They think about me before they sleep. I'm the worry, the fear. I'm the nightmare. The fans think come see a fight. They can't see a murder. That cage is my home. That's my world. I am the monster. I'm the nightmare. I'm the fear. I'm the worry. I'm in the head. I'm the nightmare. I am the monster. I am. I'm a killer. I'm the fear. I'm the worry. I'm the nightmare. I'm the monster. All right, so I was pretty proud of this project and I thought it would be cool to do a cinematography breakdown of some of these scenes and talk about, you know, the vision and the gear we used on this promo. But for right now, let's just talk about the gear and break that down for a second. I shot everything on my Ursa Mini Pro 12K and we used Sigma Art lenses. Now for a few specific shots, we used the Blackmagic Pocket 6K on the Ronin, but for the most part, I went handheld on my 12K, which is no easy feat. I've been working out my, my arms a little bit here, trying to get these bad boys up to the task. We also use a few different lens filters to achieve a more stylized look. And if you guys want me to make a video on that, I totally will, just drop some comments down below. For lighting, we had a pretty cool lighting package. We used the Feel World 125B and the 225B with a 24 and a 36 inch softbox. We had four Quasar Science tubes and I also used for the first time an Aperture B7C which is like a little light bulb. I can't even tell you how amazing that little thing is, especially for the price. And we'll go way more in depth on that, you know, later in the video. And just so I don't have to say this every time, for all the indoor scenes, we used a 1DX haze machine and I pumped a ton of haze to add volume and depth to the light. And it's just an awesome tool for cinematographers. I noticed a huge step up in some of my shots when I started using haze. So next time you're on set, Trust me when I tell you it's worth it. Go out and rent one or buy one. It'll definitely take your shots to the next level. All right, so the first scene that we shot was this narrated scene by our fighter, Jim. And in this scene, he's talking, but we also captured a ton of B-roll of him just like, kind of like moving around and pounding on his chest and looking at the camera like all crazy. So the first thing that we did was set up our practical that also acted as a key light on a C-stand using an aperture B7C bulb. And we put it in this really cheap lampshade that I found at Home Depot for like 12 bucks. And we rigged it up so it hung right above our fighter's head and we set it to 2500 Kelvin. Then we used a green quasar tube pointing at the wall behind him on camera right. And then on camera left, we took another quasar science tube and put that to 20 2500 Kelvin matching our light bulb that was in the lampshade just so we could add a little bit more light in that back left corner and it added a bit more light on the right side of our subject making you feel like all of that light is coming from this lampshade that's swinging back and forth. The next thing that we lit was this punching bag scene starting off we used the Feel World 225B with a red Roscoe gel for our main key light and then we added another 125B with another red Roscoe gel just so we could fill in some of the shadows on the right side of our subject. Then what we did was we added a piece of solid black fabric to kind of act as like a flag and try to cut the red light off so it wasn't spilling into the whole area and it was just touching some of the punching bag and the right side of our subject then we added cyan tube lights to the cage and one more cyan colored tube light to the left side of our subject just so he was properly exposed and there was a clear separation of colors between the red and the cyan that was going on the next scene we lit was actually one of my favorite scenes because in my opinion it was a super unique way to achieve the look that we were going for, which this scene was actually inspired by the film I Am Legend. There's like this one scene where Will Smith like kind of takes his gun and he points it and like the flashlight just hits like one area of like this zombie's face or whatever. 
And I thought to myself, I wanted it to almost feel like it was a nightmare. Like it was like you're coming in and out of this thing super fast. Huge shout out to my man Sosa for doing a great job operating the light. What he did was he took a Feel World 125B and we put a, like a roll of tape inside the reflector dish. So like the light ray was like very small coming through. And basically what I told him to do was, as I run up to the fighter, you run up with me and it'll create kind of like this spotlight effect on him, almost feeling like the light is on the camera. It actually was one of my favorite shots of the entire project. And it was something that I never did before and it was completely experimental. If you guys ever get a chance, try it man i don't know it might work it might not so the final lighting setup was this you know weightlifting montage and because we were getting like a lot of really wide shots we decided to really focus on lighting the space rather than the face and what i mean by that is the wide shots were not allowing us to get the lights in close so basically what we did was we started with a key light and we chose the field world 125b with a 36 inch softbox and we kind of moved that in as close as we could without being in the frame. Then we added a Feel World 225B with a reflector dish and a red Roscoe gel to the right side of our subject, which is camera left. And we added another flag. So again, the red light wouldn't spill everywhere. And the last thing that we did was add two cyan quasar science tubes to the weight rack, just helping backlight our subject and acting as practicals in the shot. And ideally, if we had a lot more time, we would have been able to kind of like make sure that the lighting was like perfect. But in this situation we had to move so fast that like we only had time for like one lighting setup really and maybe move in the lights a little bit closer and sometimes when you have that it's better to get one lighting setup that kind of works for everything rather than try to light everything individually and that's what we did and it actually worked out great on this so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate all the love and the support that i've been getting on the youtube channel lately as of right now we're like approaching a thousand subs which is awesome but for those of you who are just watching the channel for the first time or just being introduced to me and you know this little community, um, welcome and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. The fans didn't come see the fight. They can't see a murder. That cage is my home. That's my world.